Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have returned after many months to Shadow Creek Ranch out here in Pearland, Texas. Uh, this is a brand new layout. It's 12 holes. They've got the primary one, which is a 12 hole layout, and they also have the 18 hole safari layout. I'm gonna play the 12 hole layout today. Just a side note, if you wanna play here, you have to park Caddy Corner across the street. There's a parking lot for the uh, neighborhood pool and basketball court and uh, other activities over there. So that's where you'd park and you'd walk right across the street. And uh, here we go. We have arrived at hole one. And one thing to notice is this sidewalk here. If you want to play it for a tournament, or I'd say a lot of your more skilled uh, tournament rounds, this is going to be OB and beyond. But for like a beginner, y'all may want to play a little more casual. The basket's straight ahead that way. There's a tee pad behind it. So if there are players out there, you got to be a little careful because you can actually run along with the basket in theory and uh, uh, pose the risk there. Also, there's a bayou off to the side and the street off to this other side here. So with that said, I'm going to uh, wait for that uh, uh, passerby to drive on through and then I'll throw some discs. Okay, I'm probably just gonna do two off the tee mainly because I haven't done any throwing and I've just shown up here at the course. That said, I'm gonna throw this tee bird that way. Just kind of see how close I can get it to the basket. There is a headwind I'm throwing into by the way. So that's something to keep in mind. And often this course plays with a little bit of wind so, and there's not too many trees that would uh, block the wind. <laughs> that one felt a little better. A lot more inside. Okay, two good drives. In addition to wind being something you have to deal with on this course, if it rains a lot, like for example, it rained two days last week, last I think Tuesday and Friday pretty heavily. So there's some wet grounds a certain area some holes are better than others this is one of the worst holes in terms of water damage so the middle of the fairway particularly closer towards the basket you're going to be dealing with a little bit of water if it's rained recently that said uh the thunderbird and t-bird were about the same distance for the basket this just has better lighting so i'm just going to go with it all right so despite the little bit of water here on some of the fairways the course is otherwise very beautiful so with that said, let me get a par. There we go. Okay, we've now reached hole two and the wind is picking up a little bit. So it's gonna be a little bit of a tougher hand wind than it was a minute ago. Uh, you'll see that they have not just co long concrete tape tee pads that are facing <laughs> the correct direction. They have signs and these are actually going up this weekend. So you'll see signs, tee signs on every one of these. With that said, I've got this cheetah. I've got a slightly shorter hole, but it's a lot more of a technical demanding fairway, more obstacles. So I'm gonna see what I can do. I think actually for this, a standstill might be in order or maybe a three-step walk up. All right, cut rolled a little bit, but I'm safe in downs. Okay, I'm 115 feet away per uh, bush nail. Still got the headwind to contend with, so I'm gonna throw this flattish. Just like that. I think in particular, if you bring some waterproof shoes, that'll help you a lot on the course. Also, make sure you bring a towel. I forgot to bring mine. I washed all the towels last night. Didn't put that back in my cart. Boom. From hole two's basket, you see this building here. This was a common parking spot for people that wanted to play disc golf here in the past. That said, the next hole is right up ahead. Okay, this is a longer hole and you have to throw over a retention pond. Currently, we have a little bit of a right to left cross. That's what daddy wanted. I'm out there. Thunderbird. Blah, 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 elevation, blah, blah, blah. Camera doesn't do it justice. And I made it to about 65 feet from the basket. So with that said, that's really just a putt for me because this is slightly blocked. Yes, yeah, sir. I can see why people aren't a fan of elevated baskets. However, it's kind of convenient when it's only elevated this much. We've arrived at the next hole. We've turned the corner. We're currently dealing with more of a left to right crosswind. We have a basket 
in the distance as well with the flag on it. They all have flags and that helps to tell you the directionality of the wind. That said, I'm gonna throw this Thunderbird again because I want to kind of pull it out like that. There we go. Heck yeah. Okay, we've arrived at the line. We've got 110 feet per bushnell from the basket. Just want to throw this to, you know, against the crosswind. Let's go. Okay, if this doesn't give you an idea of the elevation, even on a short hole like this, <laughs> not sure anything else will, but uh, yeah. Woot. All right, from that basket, you basically have a fantastic view of the area. And now we're heading towards the tee pad of the next hole. Okay, we've arrived at the next hole. You can kind of see what the wind's doing, throwing into a headwind again, like first couple holes. Basket's straight ahead that way, about 260 feet. I don't know if they're doing anything unusual with OB lines, like maybe this is an OB island and you have to be over there. Not really sure, but uh, I'm just gonna go that way and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. So I landed about 50 out, which is great. But again, just want to point out just how beautiful this is. And if you throw your disc too high and it goes in the water, unless it's right at that edge, I kind of don't think you're going to get it back without maybe some uh, <laughs> swim trunks. So yeah, 50 feet out, got a little bit of an audience behind me, so it's time to nail uh, a putt to impress the audience. I'm just kidding, no one cares. Boom! 50 footer. <laughs> the camera was off, right? Unfortunately, lost footage. <laughs> okay, and actually it's kind of funny. Uh, two or three of them were actually watching, so they saw and congratulated me for making that putt. <laughs> so I sometimes joke about, about things, but it's really nice to see uh, the number of people here already playing. And there's actually a, a league that's around here that's playing. I don't remember the name. I think it's like Disc Golf Daddies or something like that. Please comment if you're in that group and, and I'll make sure that information gets uh, put in there. But anyways, I've got a basket that's right there. Uh, you could just barely see the flag over the horizon. It's 260 feet. Uh, you could do a low line thing, but I'm kind of not sure I can do that. So I'm going to throw uh, this leopard. Actually, you know, that's weird. The, it's again, a left to right crosswind. So I'm gonna have to throw something more stable. Been using the Thunderbird a lot more than expected today. Nathan Queen 21 Pro Tour win. There we go. I know it was too stable for this shot, but I wanted to guarantee I could put it low enough so it could push far enough. Okay, I left my mini on the previous hole, so I'm just gonna <laughs> Texas flip, because we're in Texas. And uh, the elevation is, uh, de-elevation, I'm not sure what we'd call it. Lucky. Okay, we've arrived at the next hole. I'm gonna do a softer throw with my leopard just to flip it up. Hopefully it won't ride too much. Let's see how this plays out. There we go, that's what daddy wanted. Just need to get it over there and I've got a putt. Okay, so the good news is I'm about 30 feet <laughs> from the basket. The bad news is it's pretty obstructed. This is a putting league putt <laughs> if I were gonna try to birdie this. So thankfully I play a putting league sometimes though it's been about six months. Oh, just missed it. <laughs> so close yet so far away. Okay, we've arrived at the next hole, waiting for them to clear out. So I just want to give you a, a special message. So if you're out here on the far end of the course and you really need to use the restroom, you are out of luck. There's no coverage, there's no public restrooms, <laughs> and there's no reason I would bring that up. No reason at all. <laughs> That's my T-bird. I wanted to use a shorter slower disc than the Thunderbird for that line. 
Okay, a little surprising, but I went long in the basket. In hindsight, I should have thrown the exact same throw, but with a more overstable disc, either a Firebird or a Banshee. That said, 45 feet to the basket, a few feet of elevation. Close one. <laughs> just saw a family playing the safari layout and Sam just crushed one to the next basket. Pretty impressive. Okay, this next hole is a little bit of a shorter hole. That said, I'm still gonna throw a fairway driver. Uh, it's in the G-Star plastic, so it should stick a little bit more. And I'm just gonna kind of hyzer, stand still hyzer something closest to the basket. <clears throat> little low, but hopefully it skips a tiny bit. And it did. I've got a putt. Okay, this was a decent throw. I'm 45 feet out. I really should have put it a touch higher so it could have gotten a little bit more carry. That said, I'm not really complaining. Very happy to be here. Just going to try to get something close and potentially in. Good run. All right, so the guys in front of me are the hyzer guys. <laughs> Oops. One thing to keep in mind, once you, leave, once you putt out on that basket, you have to turn around and head back this way because this is the first, maybe only par four on the course. Okay, do not adjust your set. This tee pad is angled to touch this way. It's pointing more in the direction of <laughs> the bayou or creek or whatever this thing is called, but the basket is dead straight ahead. If you're playing a tournament, I'm sure this sidewalk on the right is OB. I'm not really gonna play it as such today because this is a super casual round. But anyways, I've got my TL. I just want to get one out there. No crazy distance. I'm actually trying to play this for par. Okay, that's as good as I can hope for. <laughs> okay, I've got 295 left to the basket, so I didn't throw this nearly as far as I would have hoped. That said, it was a little bit of a placement shot. I was throwing it maybe 80% power off the tee. Let's see if I can get another good throw here. You know, that's not bad. Okay, so the good news, I'm 65, 64 feet from the basket. The bad news is I've got a tailwind. <laughs> so I can't reach the basket per se, but I can give us a good tap in. See, that's all I got. <laughs> you know what, playing this for par, I'll take it every day of the week and twice on Sunday. All right, we've now arrived at a shorter hole. It's 196 feet to that basket. Still had the tailwind, so I'm gonna throw this mid-range just to get it kind of over there. There we go. Ooh, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's very close. Thank you. Man, this wind is no joke. Uh, I have to play around with a tripod to lean it back <laughs> so the wind won't blow it over. That said, I'm 23, 22-ish feet from the basket. I have to adjust my putt accordingly. Not 100% the adjustment I was aiming for. All right, incoming. <laughs> All right, there are the hyzer guys that are about leaving. They just hold out. I'm on this last hole. I'm again going to use this Manta, but I think I'm going to use a three-step. I think I need a little bit more power than what I was able to produce it for the last time. Ooh, I needed something a lot more stable, like my Rock 3, but I'll take it. <laughs> and I didn't mention it before, but this is a practice basket just off of hole one. So just remember, you're throwing to the basket over there on that side. Okay, about 40 feet from the basket per bush now. I actually went long, so I, I should have used a more stable disc, like maybe a Discmania Mutant. I've got that in the, the bag, 40 feet. Oh, I didn't put enough on it. That said, I'm happy with that bid. Alrighty, well, I have to say, I absolutely love this course. It's a dramatic improvement over what used to be just even a few months ago. I mean, it's not just the brand new baskets and the flags and all the other stuff. It's, you know, like just new hardware. It's the design is fun. It's very playable for someone at my level, a recreational uh, level disc golfer. Uh, so yeah, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already as I have more course previews and playthroughs coming up 
in the future. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.